Hi, I'm Grant with a video on the Vortex Ring State and your DJI Phantom and how to avoid it. So what is a Vortex Ring State and why would you want to avoid it? Um, it's got nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings and I didn't know it existed until I had a crash with my Phantom 2 last week and did a bit of googling and found out what I believe to be the cause of the problem. In a nutshell, the vortex ring state or the downward wobble of death as I like to refer to it is when you're descending vertically with your multi-rotor or your helicopter and it's descending into its own dirty or turbulent air and an airflow pattern is set up recirculating its own turbulent air and it's unable to gain lift and will basically start falling out of the sky um, like a lead leaf wobbling and falling down the sky and this happened to me and even though I put the stick on to try and power it up nothing in fact it's exactly the wrong thing to do so as you can see it all happened pretty quick but essentially as I came in I came in like this to descend to line up another shot I had a tailwind coming this way and I think it was here that you'll just see in the videos it was basically here as I stop it to descend vertically that I, I think that it set up even though I was rotating a little bit it started falling from the sky like a leaf a lead leaf um, I did the wrong thing which is basically putting power on to try and get it to climb up and then it crashed luckily into a soft green paddock and I didn't sustain any damage but what made it sting even more was I had the lady standing next to me who was who I was doing the shoot for and she says to me is it supposed to do that no so how can you avoid this if it happens to you if this happens to you you'll, you'll know straight away when the thing starts doing this and dropping out of the sky um, your natural reaction as was mine or maybe yours isn't but mine was was basically to give it um, accelerator or give it to lift um, to try and get it to lift up out of its rapid descent exactly the wrong thing to do because it, it's not going to help essentially what you've got to do is use your forward or reverse stick and basically get it out of this get it out of the, the downward spine or downward plane if you like so it can get into some clean air and gain lift it all happens pretty quick I was also running my helicopter in GPS mode which probably wasn't helping because there was a side wind so the wind was probably trying to hold it in, its, in, its, in, a, in a nice vertical line which is not what I wanted so if I was in ATTI mode I might have been able to, it might have drifted out of that you know into some clean air um, and I might have been able to break out of that quicker but it all happened pretty quick and hindsight is a wonderful thing. So number one if it's going to happen, if, if you see it happening to you um, forward backwards sideways left right anything but the downward plane don't apply power as in a lot of things prevention is your best measure um, and the best way to prevent this is um, as in as in real life and with real helicopters try not to descend I know sometimes you can't avoid it but try not to descend straight down with your multi-rotor um, especially with a tailwind try and descend um, with a forward or backwards or sideways movement or even as in real life helicopters do descend into the wind or nose into the wind um, when you're coming down if you have to come down quick try and come down on a circular pattern or come down forward or back anything but sort of the straight down pattern which is when and you'll see you'll, you'll, you've probably experienced when the helicopter gets a little bit of the jitters and that's basically as it's going through its own turbulent downdraft if you'd like to know more about the vortex state ring i'll put a link below this video here uh, which goes to a helicopter page which explains in a lot more detail than than i've just um, said so happy flying and I hope I hope that doesn't happen to you but if it does uh, a good thing which, which I will now do is I um, a good thing for any flying situation is run through a scenario where basically if it is about to do this drop out of the sky rehearse it in your mind you know it's it's basically right hand forward back anything but your left hand powering it up um, and that will hopefully avoid an incident so thanks for watching